This is a little complicated. Let me explain what's going on here. I have an article from IGN, and I was just recording a video where I went through this article and two other articles. I read them all. I highlighted what's important, and I was going to give you the important details while trimming all of the unimportant fluff that they shove into this stuff. In my opinion, what's unimportant, obviously, it's my take. But in the middle of recording that segment, I found something so important that I decided instead of, you know, kind of just shoving that in the middle of the video, I'm going to turn that into a separate video. Long story short, Dave Gistiat is president of G-Kids. He's been working, trying to get Studio Ghibli to be more open to the idea of releasing their works to streaming platforms like Crunchyroll, Netflix, etc. So I wasn't familiar with this Dave guy. I'm familiar with a number of the executives at the top of companies like Crunchyroll, not too familiar with G-Kids or this guy though. So I looked more into him and I found this bio at projectanime.org if you want to read more about him here, you're more than welcome to. The point that I want to get to is I noticed his Twitter bio down here, so I thought, wow, that's interesting. I'll go to his Twitter, see what the guy's talking about. Uh, surely he's talking about the anime industry, maybe Studio Ghibli, maybe anime in general, just something about the industry, growing the industry, and helping the industry and the fans, right? That's what I expected. Well, here's what I actually found. Before I read this, let me emphasize that I don't really care what your political beliefs are. As long as you're a decent person, a good, hardworking, kind individual, this sort of thing. You know, you got good morals, you got a good head on your shoulders, uh, kind, etc. I don't really care. We might disagree on some things, but if you're a good person, you're a good person. And we can have a discussion and talk and, you know, we can still enjoy entertainment and stuff. Like, I, I can easily just leave politics at the door. Yes, I care about politics a bit, but I can happily not talk about them too. I see so many people at the top of the Western anime industry, like apparently Dave here, who just screech about politics 24-7, and they're always so angry. This guy has explicit language in this tweet. I had to redact it so I could even talk about this uh, right now. So he's complaining about the president. He's complaining about a certain political party. And let me show you something else. The guy retweets stuff like this. I guess this is supposed to be a joke or a meme or something, but it's a very bigoted one. Openly attacks religious people and says to do something to our Lord that I'm not even going to repeat. Sorry if you're audio only, but I just can't repeat this one, man. And this is retweeted from Dave Gistiat. I came to his Twitter expecting a nice discussion, interesting tweets about business, anime, the industry, G-Kids. You know, maybe I'd learn more about G-Kids from his Twitter or something. Nope, what I, what I met with is uh, yelling about politics and openly retweeting very bigoted things that attack religious people. I mean, this is disgusting stuff. And yes, I get it. It's supposed to be a meme about Neon Genesis Evangelion and Nerve and all that. But full stop. If this meme was pointed a different direction, absolutely the account who posted this would probably be banned off Twitter. The meme would probably be deleted. And maybe you'd have some articles even talking about this, you know, crazy incident that occurred on Twitter or something like the whole nine. But since it's framed this way and it's going after this group of people, it's okay. And it's got almost 15,000 likes. And you can have the president of G-Kids, you know, happily retweeting it on his public Twitter profile. That's all totally fine, right? You probably don't need me to remind you, but there are people like this at the top of so many of these Western companies that really are owned by mega corporations. A lot of them are subsidiaries. Companies like, you know, Rooster Teeth, not an anime company, but more anime related. Crunchyroll, Funimation, apparently G-Kids, where these executives openly make very bigoted remarks going out and attacking people and you know they get away with it it's totally fine for them kind of starts to seem like the western anime industry is a lost cause maybe it really is i don't know i i, I try to acknowledge the good as i've said in other videos you know at least uh at least some of these japanese companies are seeing more success than they would have but it kind of seems like they're getting taken for a ride i mean you look at these mangakas in japan and they're still getting paid pennies to the dollar, struggling greatly. A lot of them are very depressed. You know, it's very hard line of work. And you see executives like this guy in the West just making complete uh, massive profits off the Japanese IP. And they go out and attack people and are hateful and hurtful. And these Japanese mangakas just want to spread what they love and they suffer. This is a real mess. I don't know what else to say, man. I'll keep doing my best to cover this stuff and, you know, help when I can, where I can. But I'm just a small YouTuber. Uh, these are big companies we're dealing with, man. But you know what? That's not going to stop us. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. And, you know, we will we'll keep at it. And that's really all I got to say, I guess. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Probably just two videos today. See you guys tomorrow.